Probably my favorite genre of games are first person shooters and being a fan of Linux and free and open source software, the great thing about free and open source gaming is we have a ton of great free and open source first person shooters. And one of my favorite, one I've played on and off for many, many years now is Cube 2 or Sour Broughton. Uh, you can go check out the website at sourbroughton.org. And Sour Broughton has been around forever. I remember playing Sour Broughton probably a decade ago. And, and it's a great game. It's a, it's a really fun first person shooter that does have some active players. And the great thing about it is it's cross platform. So it's free and open source software, but it's not just available on Linux. It's also available on Windows and Mac OS as well. So when you launch Sour Brighton, you can either play online multiplayer, which is what most people are going to want to do, but there is an excellent single player mode. You can go to bot match and play against bots, and you could actually adjust the skill level of the bots and the number of bots you're playing against. I'm going to go with the default settings here, and I'm going to just quickly show you a bot match. You have various types of games you can select. I'm going to do the free for all against the bots, and then you get to pick your map. I'll pick the cartel map here. And then I've got a revolver here, which isn't a very good gun. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, but I, I did hit somebody, but it's not going to kill him. Let me switch to a different weapon. So I scroll the mouse wheel and I get this grenade launcher, which if I can hit somebody with the grenades, it would be great. But now I've switched to a machine gun, but it does quite a bit of damage, but you do have to hit them. <laughs> uh, now I've got the four barrel shotgun uh, let me get the armor so at least I'm not dying but I'm not killing any of these bots either free for alls can be kind of messy right it's, it's kind of confusing there's so much going on when you've got me against five bots well it's six of us in the game me and five bots but six people everyone for himself let me get the grenade launcher because I think I could kill somebody with it. Uh, oh, I've got the chainsaw. Let's go. I've always wanted to chainsaw somebody. Did I get him? I know I hit him, but I don't think I killed him. All right. Let me switch back to a gun. I've got a gun. Uh, I guess all I've got is the revolver. Ah, I've got a shotgun. Got the four barrel shotgun. Now gameplay, let's talk about zooming. If you hit G on the keyboard, you can zoom. You could also hit Z on the keyboard to zoom. Uh, I don't really need to zoom with any of the weapons here. Uh, most of these are close quarters weapons like this shotgun. There's no point in trying to scope somebody way off. Anyway, that was just a little bit of the bot play. The bot play is pretty fun. Now, let's actually play a online multiplayer game. So let's go ahead and play a Insta team game. So there are going to be two teams. There's going to be the blue team. There's going to be the red team. You're always on the blue team, so you never have to worry about getting the colors mistaken. Anybody that's red, you need to kill them. And this is a 60-person max game. There's 11 people in it right now. The map is Venice. And let's go ahead and join it. And this game, how it works is everyone has a rifle. And the rifle is a one-shot kill. So you don't have to worry about learning a map and finding cool weapons or being stuck with a weapon that doesn't do anything, right? So it's a very fair kind of way to play, and I like it. And this is probably the most popular kind of game on Sour Brighton, or these multiplayer insta-team games. And let me go find the red players. I uh, saw one. I don't think he saw me. If I could find him again. Uh-oh. I hear someone <laughs> with a uh, chainsaw. Uh, I'm not doing very well here. One thing I will mention for those watching me play. Of course, I don't game that often. But I am better at this game than I'm showing on camera here. But the problem here is I am actually playing this game on my Kensington Expert Trackball Mouse. So actually, I'm actually kind of surprised at how well the trackball is working for me I'm inside a little church here. Uh, and let me 
got him. That's not bad. Actually, I will say the Kensington Expert, although it's definitely not a gaming mouse, this really big trackball, I can get a pretty precise shot rather quickly with it. The only problem is when you get excited, <laughs> it moves way too quickly, too fast. As a matter of fact, because I have a triple monitor system, there's been a couple of times here where I've actually moved the trackball to where it had focus on another monitor that's not playing the game, which obviously is going to get me killed. Oh. So the thing to notice about this is that when you shoot the rifle, there is a pause, there's a delay. You can, you know, you've got a couple of seconds between each shot. So if you miss, you're very vulnerable. The other thing is the rifle does have some recoil, which is unique. Not a lot of games have recoil when it comes to, to shooting. So you actually get moved back just a hair, but it's it's noticeable. Oh, the guy on the roof. I saw him at the last second, but it was too late. And this guy is camping. <laughs> it is spawn camping. Uh, let me go get that guy. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, I thought I had him, but he got me somehow. Uh. Oh, and then somebody snuck up behind me. Okay. Well, you're not very good. Of course, I'm not very good either. I uh, lost focus. <laughs> oh, thank you. My teammate got him. <laughs> I was dead there. The trackball had actually rolled across to the far right monitor, so I'd actually lost focus, mouse focus, on this monitor. So I was dead had my teammate not shot that guy when he did. Ah. Yeah, maybe I should plug in a real mouse. Ooh, somebody got shot there. Now, one thing about these maps is, of course, we've got these buildings. I mean, I could go up in a tower, you know, and try to be sneaky, get up high in one of these buildings where I would probably stand a better chance of not getting killed as often. I can go up the steps here. Let's go ahead. I've got a ladder here. Let's try to get to the top of this building. I've got these windows, and now would be a good time to to zoom. So I hit G or Z on the keyboard, either one. Let's see if I can scope anybody out. Now I never saw anybody, but somebody definitely scoped me out because they got me. So, and yeah, I better not stay in one place too long. That That's going to be dangerous. Oh, somebody. Somebody tried to sneak up on me there. And of course the real secret to this kind of map is actually knowing the map, knowing, you know, the good hiding spots, knowing where people like to perch in these towers. Because you've got a lot of people that they, they find their spot that they like, and, you know, you, that is really the difference in the game. Oh, there was somebody up there. I don't know if I got him or I, I might have missed him. Really, I'm just looking for somebody to kill. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be sneaky. I'm just out here in the open. I want to frag people for about five to ten minutes and then call it a day. But this is Sour Broughton, just a cursory overview of Sour Broughton, which, again, free and open source software, cross-platform, available Windows, Mac, and Linux. Dang. Got him. Okay. Well, I he had to be still for a minute for me to get him. <laughs> but, of course, the rest of my teammates were also missing him. I see you up there. I see you. Let's zoom in. Uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, that's Sour Broughton. So, I hope you guys will go check that out. Sour Broughton, for those of you on Linux, being free and open source software, and it's been around for many, many years. Sour Broughton should be in every Linux distribution's repos. If you do install Sour Broughton and check out some of the uh, multiplayer online games, I, I typically do play the Insta Team games on the Venice map. And if you see a player named RTFM, that's going to be me.
Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Akami, Allen, Lennox, Ninja, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Kurt, Diokai, David, Dylan, Gregory, Heiko, Koska, Lee, Maxim, Mike, Nitrix, Hurrion, Alexander, Peace, Arch, Fedor, Polytech, Raver, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. Uh, this quick look at Sour Broughton would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like this channel, if you like seeing Linux and free and open source software and free and open source games, support DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.